Well, from Pipe Dream to Center Stage, Marco Polo the Musical is a production of massive proportions. And after years and then months and then days of working to bring that story to life, there's only hours left now before the big show. And the CBC's Sarah Cosmo got a sneak peek. Here's a taste of what you'll hear from Marco Polo the Musical. A huge sound from some of New Brunswick's brightest talents. Conductor Antonio Delgado says, expect big things. I think so. They have to appreciate, you know, these talented kids. And it's amazing to have an orchestra like that here in, in this province. After months of rehearsal, this 70-plus piece New Brunswick Youth Orchestra will be among more than 200 singers, dancers, actors, and musicians set to perform in the musical. Oh wow, it's, it's been great. We, we knew since the spring that we were doing this, so it's been anticipation ever since then to be part of something this big. Organizers say tickets to both the matinee and evening shows Saturday are selling well. They've also given away thousands of free tickets to school children from across the province, so they don't miss this one-of-a-kind production. And in the final hours before the show, more than 300 people behind the scenes will have worked to bring this historical love story to life, even if the ship's replica that inspired it sits in a storage warehouse rather than on stage. It would have been cool to do it, uh, but it just we just could not figure out how it was going to fit in the building. From the stage play to the music itself, organizers say local talent on a massive scale will be bursting from the stadium tomorrow. You can feel it. It creates waves of sound. When you, when you get 205 people hitting a note in harmony, the whole room vibrates in a way that you just don't get with a, a, any other kind of music. It's pretty impressive. Impressive and a big deal. Inspired by St. John's illustrious shipbuilding history, Marco Polo the Musical is set to make history itself as the biggest production like it ever staged in this province. Sarah Cosmo, CBC News, St. John. Well, let's take a look at St. John.